Hey everybody, Nathan here with Samson Farms and I want to welcome you back to the homestead and to the channel. So welcome back. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe, toggle that bell to receive all notifications for future videos. I greatly appreciate it. But today, we're making some buckboard bacon. Uh, you are going to need some curing salt number one, Prague powder number one, it's a sodium nitrate, I believe, I might be wrong, I might be sodium nitrite. One's nitrate, one's nitrite. And you use very minuscule amounts of this. It helps the bacon retain color and cures the pro part of the curing process. We're going to use sugar, salt, which we're using some of our smoked salt. And we are using uh, cure number one and water. We're doing an E-cure, E-Q cure. Equilibrium cure. So we are going to double Ziploc bag it, put it in the bag, and we use a calculator to uh, calculate the portions that we need of salt, sugar, and cure number one, and water, put it in a Ziploc baggie, then we double bag it, and we put it in the fridge for seven to ten days to cure all the way through. And in seven to ten days, we'll show you the end process. So, we have it in the fridge now, but we have to come back every day and flip it over for the curing process. Now, I took a whole pork shoulder, deboned it, and here's what we do for now. Hey everybody, we are back at it on the baking curing process. <clears throat> I took and deboned it the other day. It was still quite frozen, so I put it in the fridge and baggies for a few days. But now we're going to actually get to curing it using the cure calculator, our scale, everything. That way we don't put too much curing salt number one in it. So I have my baggie, I have my scale. I've already teared this out so it's zeroed. So I put the transfer the meat from the other bag into this one. They're different brands. I didn't want to take a chance of it being too far off. So we are at 1,515 grams of meat in that bag. calculator so we can see what parts we need Alright, so we need 5.68 grams of curing salt. Alright, so I went into the cure calculator. I got every the amounts I needed for the weight of the meat. It's pretty important to get it pretty close to this because health reasons. And we're going to dump sugar, salt, cure powder, and our water. Into our bag. I'm gonna 
box it up really good. Cover all the meat with it. I'm going to go one step further and double bag this. bacon in the brine and we're going to set this in the fridge but every day we're going to set it there and we're going to flip it over that way to keep it covered with the brine so that the natural process of equalization the meat will cure and <coughs> I'll get more into that here in a little bit but it takes like a day for it's like a week of minimum, but I'll get you more information on that soon. It goes off the thickness of the piece on how long it sits in the fridge and cured. Alright, so we got all three pieces of that pork shoulder in the brine. The water's a little murky because I used some of my smoke salt on it because I didn't have any kosher salt on hand. So we have all three pieces in the brine and we're going to refrigerate it for the next seven to ten days, clipping it every day and that's what we're up to now so that's the building the cure putting the brine this one is just cure salt and sugar with the pork and water for a wet e-cure equilibrium brine to uh, brine this pork shoulder so I hope you enjoyed this video there'll be more coming out during this week about this process and mostly next week because it takes seven to ten days so we had to flip them every day like I said thanks for stopping by the homestead see you next time God bless